Refugees in Turkey are among the millions of ordinary people trying to survive extraordinary circumstances. This year, some 50,000 people have attempted to cross the Mediterranean Sea from North Africa to Europe. The destination for most, Italy's island. CCTV's Stephanie Freed met one Libyan migrant who was terrified of crossing the sea, but grateful he made it out alive. Lampedusa Migrant Center, the island's holding facility for Syrians, Eritreans, Libyans, and others who crossed the sea from North Africa for Europe in search of refuge. 33-year-old Sami paid Libyan human traffickers $1,000 for a one-day journey across the Mediterranean in a flimsy boat packed with hundreds of migrants, forced to urinate on themselves for lack of choice. Squeezed up against the boat engine, he was repeatedly burned. Sami was aware of the danger of drowning, but says there was no alternative. He was running from Libya's militia war. Bad, 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 bad way. I never think to do this way, but Libyan people, they don't give me a chance to stay there. They took my car, they broke in my house, they took my restaurant, they killed my father also. I never, I like Europe, but I never think I will come by this way. I want to go to Europe with my people, with my passport, you know what I'm saying? But they don't give me a chance. Most here made the journey because they felt they had no choice. Fleeing wars and uprisings, these are the faces of the people who comprise the world's worst refugee crisis since the Second World War. Movement in and out of this facility is very controlled. Technically, the people here aren't allowed out. Out of frustration, they sometimes jump the gate. Like these Eritrean men we met in town who wanted to buy razor blades, sip a beer, feel normal. Lampedusa's police chief told us that because they lack refugee status and official IDs, they must remain confined to the center. Sammy doesn't know where he'll go from here or what he'll do. His mother and siblings back in Libya are counting on him to survive and thrive. We are lucky because we are survivors. We are lucky because God saved us. We are lucky because we are here in Lampedusa. And lucky to be alive. Stephanie Fried, CCTV, Lampedusa Island, Italy.